Joe Rogan here, and tonight we have another amazing MMA fight. In the left corner, we have our returning champion. Now in the right corner, we have coming in at 120 pounds, at a whopping 5'3", Jesse James West. What? I'm not 5'3". Let the fight begin. I don't know about you guys, but Jesse's calves are looking a bit small. Joe, you wanna go right now? What's going on everybody, Jesse James West here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Tomorrow, we got an early start because we're living like Joe Rogan for 24 hours. I'm super excited. Joe lives a very interesting life. He makes some interesting choices in his diet and his training. So we're gonna do everything that he would do in the entire 24 hours. So I'm super stoked for tomorrow. It's gonna be an awesome day. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. It means the world to me and we're growing this family together. Comment down below who else you want me to live like for 24 hours and I'll make it happen. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys at 3 a.m. We're having my last little bit of food. We gotta fast for 16 hours straight, so this is my last little meal. Hmm. Oddly enough, I'm wide awake. 3.04 a.m., let's get this money, baby. So it's exactly what you thought it was gonna be, and by the sound of that, we got probiotics and pink Himalayan salt because Joe decides to fast for a few hours. I mean, you just had to do me dirty, didn't you? You know, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really understand what this is gonna do for me in the morning, but we're gonna drink it anyways. Two tablets. Cheers. Okay, so for the next order of business, the first thing that Joe likes to do in his morning, or whatever the hell you're gonna call this time of the day, he likes to do either yoga or running. So obviously, you know how I am, I'm gonna do both. But we're gonna start with yoga. You see, the yoga doesn't scare me at all, but it's the running that I really don't feel like doing at all. I might even fall asleep during this yoga, I have no clue. But Zen Jesse is back. Your favorite yoga coach is now here and class is in session. Let's begin, namaste. Okay, oh my God, I'm so fucking tired. I'm not gonna lie to you, that actually was like extremely rejuvenating. I don't even know why. I went into it super, super tired. And I think like being able to just like really breathe in the morning and, and just kind of take it all in and relax was super nice. Maybe because I fell asleep, maybe because I did some yoga. If you guys have not tried yoga, definitely get into it. So now that yoga is complete and it's about 4 a.m. in the morning, why am I awake? I don't know. We're gonna go outside and do some cardio. It's still fasted cardio. I'm still fasted. I haven't eaten anything. I'll keep you guys updated throughout the whole entire video on how I feel. I feel pretty good right now. It's still early, but I'm sure my carb cravings will kick in. And apparently, I can't have sugar-free maple syrup. I'm sorry. Joe, you're missing out, man. We all know that sugar-free maple syrup is the best thing that the world has given us. Let's get outside. It's still pitch black out. Hopefully, you can even see me run, so <laughs> let's go. Now listen, I may not want to run right now, and I'm also not gonna scream because my neighbors are all sleeping and I'm not gonna be that guy, even though I already am that guy. Joe Rogan has a bulletproof mentality and he believes that struggle is a good thing. He believes that overcoming challenges is a fantastic way to grow as a human. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna go push ourselves because I don't feel like running right now, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do some sprints because I don't deserve to not feel like running. I wanna get better and I wanna be at the top. You gotta do things you don't always wanna do. Now, not all of you guys know this, but I was a former D1 athlete, so I'm much more athletic than you think. I have run a 12 minute two mile, which means I ran two consecutive miles under six minutes. Let's just say I'm gonna crush this. We're sprinting up this giant hill. You don't wanna talk about it. Fans are great today. We just killed it. Now we're gonna do 25 yard shuttles. They get really hard, really fast. Any athlete out there, you know they're hard. Comment down below if you guys play a sport, if you guys played in the past. Let's hit it. Cardio is complete. I feel amazing. It's only like five o'clock in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning. What the hell? I gotta say, me and Joe, I feel like have a similar mindset of that bulletproof mentality where struggle builds a callus and struggle makes you better. Just like anything in life, it can be hard to get up. Hopefully it's not hard to get up. But once you get started, it's smooth sailing from there. The hardest thing is just getting up. On to the next task of the day. 
All right, the next order of business is gonna be to work on some stuff. Now, I don't have a podcast, so I can't really do a Joe Rogan podcast, but if Joe wants to have me on, Joe, I'm more than welcome. No, I'd love to be on. I just invited myself, but. I kind of meant it. As I said, I'm similar to Joe. Joe's also pretty weird, and he says that the Pentagon's announcing that there are some UFOs to be on the lookout for 2020. So because I'm similar, I guess that makes me weird. But for now, we're gonna work on some projects, work on some editing, because he would go to work and he would do his thing, doing his podcast. But since we don't have that, we gotta do this. All right, guys, we got a bunch of work done. Now we're gonna go in to do something pretty crazy. Joe Rogan is a big fan of the sensory deprivation tank. And if you don't know what that is, you pretty much just lay down in this dark place and you're wet and you're floating and it's just wild. So luckily I have one and it's called a hot tub. I'll just show you what's gonna go down. This could be a very bad idea. The first person perspective, we're going in. I'll see you guys in a bit. It's pretty dark in here, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what you can see. I don't think I did it right. All right guys, it is 10.30 right now. Starting to feel really hungry. We're on like hour 14, 15 of fasting. Literally like one hour, one and a half hours left. I'll see you guys for lunch. Just know I'm starving. This is my friend Mason. He's the man, the myth, the legend. He knows <laughs> MMA. He knows a bunch of different mixed martial arts stuff. Yes, jiu -jitsu. I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about five years. I did Muay Thai for about three years and I wrestled all through high school. We're gonna do some MMA stuff. Joe Rogan is a big advocate and he loves training for kickboxing, MMA, and he's a commentator for the MMA. We have one choice to get my ass kicked by Mason, but I think we gotta get changed, right? Yes No, I don't know. I don't think this is correct. Oh. Try again. Try again. I have maybe it is That's gonna conclude the MMA wrestling portion of this. A little jujitsu in there. As you saw, I just kicked Mason's ass. It was pretty good. No big deal. What? Over here, over here. We're now gonna get into kickboxing and some uh, some punching stuff. I don't even know. Mason knows all the stuff. We're just gonna get into it. Is this really necessary? After that wrestling, I think so. As we're getting some new merch, it's actually this right here. <laughs> That was a good MMA session. Yes, it was. Give Mason a follow, appreciate him. Thank you. We're gonna go cook up the first meal of the day and break the fast. I'm starving, I feel like I've lost 10 pounds, but it's time to eat. All right guys, for lunch we're gonna have some ground bison. We're gonna have some kimchi. I've literally never had this in my entire life. I don't know what to expect. We have the nice avocado. Some kombucha, which I've never had also. And we got some vegetables. It's pretty lean, it's light. We gotta break the fast and there's no better way to do it this way. Joe Rogan style. Alright guys, so I'm gonna be trying the bison for the first time of my entire existence. We got the kimchi. I don't even know what this is. It looks like it looks like lasagna that your grandma makes you. It's you're almost like, oh yeah, but then you're like, ugh. It's actually pretty good, not gonna lie. Yo, this is low-key good. We got the kombucha. It's like fermented something. Oh. <clears throat> Low-key, it's not bad. I would imagine this is what a beer tastes like. Joe definitely is a red hot guy. I mean, just look at him. That's what the girls call me. Never had bison in my entire life. Let's give it a go. Wow, that's really good. We're gonna dive into it now. All right, you guys know the saying, last bite, best bite. It's gonna be on a t-shirt soon, just wait. We got a little bit of the kimchi, vegetable, and bison all in one. That's really good. Wow. Okay, wow. All right, overall, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it an 8.5. It's not a 10, can't be a 10. 
It's really hard to get a 10. The kombucha was disgusting. We're now gonna go to the grocery store and get elk for dinner. Elk, literally elk. An alpha male meat, that's why Joe Rogan eats it. He says if you eat alpha male meats, you can be an alpha male. So we're gonna do just that and go pick it up. All right guys, it's not Jesse's kitchen right now. It will be in a little while. We're cooking up meal number two. If you thought meal number one was even a meal, it really was tiny snack for breaking my fast. We got a beautiful salmon, almost finished cooked, some mushroom because Joe loves mushrooms in multiple forms, and orangey tinted eggs, which is the most important thing because Joe says that if they don't have an orange to them, they're not as nutritional and they're not as superior. Let's finish cooking this up and eat it because I'm starving and I, I don't have any patience anymore. <laughs> Recently, I was posted on Lad Bible or LAD Bible. I'm not sure exactly how to say it. Two million views. It's living like Zac Efron. Zac, if you saw it, what's up, my G? Joe Rogan, if you're watching this, maybe you should post that. Maybe you'll get uh, two million views. Pretty insane, but a lot of you guys were talking a lot of shit. So the comment section was flooded with the fact that I didn't use a knife while eating meat. I like my meats, so I got one, okay? Now, I'd normally add some ketchup to this. You see, Joe doesn't eat refined sugars, and I guess ketchup is a sin. He just doesn't have it. So we're gonna eat this super plain omelet. It has a lot in it, and it's super healthy. We got the kimchi, mushroom, jalapenos, in there. We got the salmon and five whole eggs. I'll put the macros on the screen. Absolutely insane. I'll give you a taste test. Ow, so hot. Ow. First bite. Kimchi is becoming my best friend, for real. Let's dive in. Last bite, best bite. Oh my god. Oh, that was too much food. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, that my, that meal, I have not, oh my, oh my. I have not been that full in a long time. I didn't eat all day. My stomach kind of like settled. Then I had a little bit of a meal to break my fast, but that meal is hitting me like a brick. I'm gonna rate it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed putting the kimchi in there, but oh, this needs to digest. Listen, I feel great, but I'm craving carbs just a little bit right now. I'd love some French toast. You guys know how I am. I can't even have my sugar-free maple syrup or my ice cream, but I'll be okay. We're gonna go smash a lift. That's next on the agenda. We got some crazy workouts to do, so I'll take you. All right, guys, it's time for the workout. We're gonna do it Joe Rogan style. I've seen a lot of different workouts that he's done, but I got a few select exercises that he seems to do the most. It's overhead dumbbell squat, dumbbell lunge and press, side lateral jumps, working on explosion, pull-ups, Y's, T's, and W's, which I'll explain in a minute. And lastly, we got some dumbbell overhead sit-ups. Now, I'm replacing kettlebells with dumbbells. He is a huge advocate for kettlebells. So my dumbbells actually kind of simulate a kettlebell where the weight is distributed a little bit differently than a regular dumbbell. We're gonna hit this full body workout. First up, overhead dumbbell squat. I've never done this, so this will be extremely interesting. I don't even... I feel like I'm not doing this right. I don't have the shoulder mobility. So I clearly don't have the shoulder mobility to do this, so maybe kettlebells would be better, but I'm just gonna put them like this for now. See, I am not training to failure, and that's a huge thing that Joe lives by. He doesn't believe in it, which is so different than me. I train like really close to failure or to failure on almost every set. It's personally what I like, but Joe thinks that it's more about functionality and consistency over time. Not go to failure, I guess, which is really weird for me. Here comes the athleticism, side to side jumps. It's one. Since we're combining his workouts together, we now are gonna do upper body. Dive into all those, finish his workout strong. I'm getting a good pump. It's a little different than normal, but it's good. You at boy. So Y's, W's, and T's are a movement for your shoulders. Keeps your shoulders super healthy and mobile. You go up for the Y, W, and then a T. And you just keep going for the desired rep range.
The very last exercise is just a weighted sit up, a little variation to it, add some functionality to it. If these are kettlebells, would be even better. Just All right, workout's finished. Honestly, it wasn't that long. Not going to failure. I felt like my rest time was super quick. I'm not the biggest fan of this training. I like training to failure and pushing myself to the extreme. Had to try out Joe's workout. Not too bad, definitely interesting. So try it out if you want to. Now we gotta go eat a game meat, which is a first in my uh, experiences. So we'll head upstairs, cook it up, and see how it is. All right guys, after the workout, Joe always hydrates with some coconut water, some C2O. Looks like regular water to me. So we're gonna have one serving of this. Zero fat, seven grams of carbs, and zero protein. Protein. Not too bad, only 30 calories. This is gonna make me jacked. Wow, whoa. This is good. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. And on today's episode, we're cooking up some game meat. And uh, it's a little weird, it's a little different, but it's elk. Hopefully I can actually get it down. But let's dive into the ingredients of what we're gonna cook up. So right here, we got some kale and spinach. It's clearly burning because I've been cooking it too long. Then we got salmon, avocado, mushroom, the elk itself, which makes me a little uncomfortable, vegetables, and don't forget the jalapenos. We're gonna mix it all into a big bowl, have ourselves a giant salad, kind of a, like a chipotle, but with elk. Let's cook. So now we're gonna talk in just the vegetables and skip sauteing. So a little tip, a lot of you chefs out there that are culinary artists, you might roast me for this. I use a little bit of water instead of using a ton of oil just to soften up the vegetables. A little hack to save you some calories. All right, everything seems to be done. We're just gonna toss it on top of the salad. Makes me uncomfortable, but it looks good. Just like how the girls feel about me. Lastly, you take your little ice cream, I mean avocado, boom. Initial reaction, we got a little avocado, we got a mushroom, and we got elk. This is a one-time thing. Yo, it's really good. It's very good, but I feel unethical. Whatever your opinion is, no big deal. It is really good. It tastes really good. I can feel the gains already. I'm becoming Joe Rogan. I'm gonna lose my hair because of this. If this makes me like Joe Rogan, I'll only do it once. I feel like it's a snake. Hold on. Last bite, best bite. Not gonna lie, that was a very good meal. Tasted good, had a little bit weird of consistency. Don't know if I'll have elk ever again, but definitely interesting to try, see how I feel. For a pretty low calorie meal, I'm very satiated and very satisfied. I'm not really like wanting anything else. The only thing I really want is like a sugary something because I had no carbs today. It came in at 110 grams of protein, which is insane. Only 14 carb and 34 fat. So obviously this is just like Mark Wahlberg and Zac Efron. It seems that a lot of these like celebrity guys don't like eating carbs. Now I don't know if someone's trainer is putting them on this. The best Best diet for you is one that's gonna work for long term. If this works for Joe Rogan, hell, that's awesome. But it might not work for you. Cause you know damn well I need some French toast and this would not work for me. That's right folks, you guessed it. Snack before bed is gonna be some more bison because this guy eats so much meat. Think that you could only consume so much meat in one day, but then there's Joe Rogan, there's Mark Wahlberg, and there's Zac Efron. So we'll see what happens with the next guy I try. I never consume this much protein in a day unless I'm doing one of these challenges. Not the biggest fan because like I said, I want French toast. I think you guys want French toast too. So we're gonna finish this and then we're almost done being Joe Rogan for 24 hours. If I don't wake up tomorrow a full woolly mammoth, I swear, I'm just gonna be pissed. All this meat needs to go somewhere. We're thinking the same thing, aren't we? To complete the day, we had 257 grams of protein, 56 carbs, and 102 fat. That's not bad, but that's a lot of protein and a lot of fat. Definitely different than my diet. Comment down below how much meat you guys can handle. No. <laughs> I think you know what I meant. <laughs> oh, all right, everybody. Looks like it's gonna be time for bed. It's pretty early, but since we got up at three, your boy's gonna chill out for a bit and get some rest. And this concludes living like Joe Rogan for 24 hours. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about Joe Rogan and myself. So if you guys are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would mean way more than you ever know to me and the channel. Let's grow this thing together. Make sure you guys comment down below who else you want me to cover in this living like series. And I will catch you in the next one. Don't forget, stay relentless. Peace.